What is up guys? It's your boy Belt Fed Cacus and today we are going to be showcasing what I think is a new best in slot weapon for Destiny 2. But guys, you're going to have to act fast because there's only a limited time window in which you can acquire this weapon. And the weapon in question is of course the Avalanche Machine Gun from the Dawning 2023. What you've been seeing absolutely laying down firepower in the background gameplay. Now, why am I saying that this thing, and specifically with the 2023 update to its roles, is the best in slot solar machine gun, the best solar machine gun in the entire game, specifically for PvE? Well, let's just look at its competition. First off, we have the Archon's Thunder from Iron Banner. This is a high impact frame, and I have a PvP roll here with Rangefinder Iron Grip, because frankly, you can't even get a good PvE roll. I mean, this thing can get, like, Rampage as the best perk in the second column, and then maybe high impact reserves. Field prep is alright in the first column, but we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here to start. Then, we're getting even further in the bottom of the barrel because we actually have the Thermal Erosion. This is a rapid fire frame from Europa and this thing can get zero damage increasing perks in the second column. The roll I have here of field prep plus wellspring is like the best PvE roll. Maybe demo instead of wellspring. Like that's what we're talking about here. It's not great. Now after that things start to get a bit better. We have the fixed odds from the duality dungeon. Now this is a high impact frame and importantly it is craftable. So I have the roll here of field prep for more ammo plus incandescent and this is undoubtedly a good role for ad clearing within pve but after that we have the only real competition to the avalanche and that is the unwavering duty from trials of osiris this is an adaptive frame i have the role here of ambitious assassin plus Focus Fury to increase the damage output, but frankly, you can do a lot better than this. In that second column, you can get Firing Line to increase the damage output. You can get Killing Tally and Incandescent for ad clearing. You can get Subsistence in the first column. This is a very, very good solar machine gun. So how the heck does the Avalanche beat it? Well, just this year, the Avalanche can now get the incredible role of, first of all, Rewind Rounds. When this weapon's magazine is empty, it refills from reserves based on the number of hits. Now, a lot of people are under the misunderstanding, frankly, that this is like a DPS perk, and it is phenomenal for DPS. If you put your sights over an enemy, like you saw at the very beginning clip of the video, it will just constantly reload itself over and over again until you finally run out of rounds after shooting well over a hundred of them. But, as you can see right here, when you're ad clearing, it's also just gonna count those hits. So, you're just using it against normal ads, you frankly don't need to worry about reloading when the magazine runs out you'll get half of that magazine back instantaneously you're gonna get like 30 25 rounds back immediately and then based on those 30 ish rounds that you shoot then you're gonna get you know 15 10 back like the result is that it's gonna reload itself a few times and even though you're not gonna have perfect accuracy you're not gonna get like exactly 50% of the magazine back it takes a 75 round magazine that you can easily get with uh, the role I have here where you have a pended mag plus a backup mag mod and again allows you to shoot well over a hundred rounds easily without ever needing to reload. Now, what are we combining that with? Well, it is the machine gun all-star that was just introduced this year target lock damage increases the longer this weapon remains on target this thing is s plus tier for machine guns because what remains over a target longer than a machine gun absolutely spewing out rounds this thing will ramp up quickly and it will increase your damage significantly against powerful targets and guys i think this is the best dps roll you can get on any solar machine gun in the entire game the unwavering duty is cool but it's all conditional ambitious assassin needs you to get a bunch of kills beforehand firing line requires you to have team members nearby rewind rounds plus target lock will work every single time no matter what you just gotta shoot and that's why it's so fantastic now you may be saying well that's cool and all 
but who's using machine guns for DPS? I'm using them for ad clearing. You should go for an ad clearing role. And you do have a point. However, I will let you in a little secret here. Machine guns can deal with ads if they had no perks at all. Just due to the nature and the damage of a machine gun, you're gonna chew through ads no problem. Red bars are not really the issue. Now, would an incandescent roll help? Absolutely, but if you're using a machine gun, the problems you're gonna run into are the mini bosses, the big yellow bars, the champions, and that's where you really need that extra damage that this roll provides. However, if you really do want an ad clearing roll, what if I told you that the Avalanche was also capable of getting some of the best ad clearing machine gun rolls in the entire game, and you can get both the DPS roll and the ad clearing roll on the same weapon. In the dawning, as long as you unlock the final two upgrades from Eva Levante, you can get, as you've been seeing, multiple perks on the same weapon. So it's entirely feasible to farm an avalanche that actually has rewind rounds plus target lock, and then it has something like incandescent or subsistence, or my God, both at the same time. And this will actually let you switch between the ad clearing and DPS roll at will. Because guys, as you can see right here, I'm changing my perks around. I don't lose any heavy ammo. But if I was to switch between different avalanche rolls, even though it's the same weapon, I'm gonna lose 50% of my heavy ammo every single time I do that. So you can actually realistically, if you're in something like a strike, you can put on the ad clearing roll for the entire strike, and when you get to the final boss, switch to the DPS roll. Like, you can actually pull that off. And remember guys, while you're walking around with your unbelievably good weapon with two god rolls in one, you gotta also remember that solar weapons are juiced to the absolute gills this season. Right now you have seasonal artifact perks that, for example, are gonna make you radiant when you land consistent precision shots, and with a machine gun, that is super easy to do. In fact, Check this out. I'm fighting this barrier champion right here in a lost sector, and I land all these consistent shots. Even though my machine gun isn't anti-barrier, I become radiant as the barrier champion shield goes up. Radiant allows me to break a barrier champion shield, so I don't even have to move my sights off of this champion. I become radiant, break the shield, and kill it all in one go, just phenomenally powerful. But then you also have other seasonal artifact perks that while you're radiant, make you scorch enemies, uh, make you cause ignition explosions on final blows. Like your avalanche is gonna turn into an absolute god gun with those seasonal artifact perks active. And so guys, that's why I think the Avalanche, especially if you're lucky enough to get an ad clearing roll plus the rewind rounds target lock roll in one weapon, is just the new best solar machine gun in the game. The only thing that comes close that there's even an argument for is the Unwavering Duty, which again is a phenomenal weapon, but it drops from Trials of Osiris. If you take into accessibility how much easier the Avalanche is to get, like, it is something that all players should really be jumping on, especially this season with how good solar weapons are. Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content so much to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.